What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode. And today I wanted to just take some quick time to answer some of the questions that you guys have asked or one specific question that you guys have asked. And uh, it's a lot about financial advice and I do not give financial advice first and foremost. Um, so this is not financial advice. Don't trust people that you randomly come across on YouTube for financial advice, but I wanted to share from my experience what the most uh, influential and very well-known wealthy people in my life have uh, shared with me. And it's a couple different things, so if you guys are interested, stick around for the remainder of the stream. And as you can see, I'm in beautiful Miami right now. Uh, I'm attending a Bitcoin conference here that I'm really excited about, the North American Bitcoin Conference. It's a fantastic conference. It's my second year going. It's a lot of fun. I got to bring my wife Sarah with me and really excited about it. But I wanted to start with sharing what, uh, what the definition of success means. And uh, this isn't like a motivational stream or anything like that. This is just basic, basic uh, financial tips that I was given from individuals. And uh, the first and foremost was defining what success meant to the individual. So if success means that you want to have more time with family, uh, that is definitely something that is considered successful, uh, in my opinion. If you wanna make $100 million, that's definitely something that I would consider being successful. If you want to spend um, you know, 10 hours a day with your family and one hour working, that is successful. In my opinion, you're making enough money to survive, making ends meet, and you're happy. Uh, that is definitely something I would consider to be successful. The things I would not consider to be successful are, uh, you know, if you're unhappy working at a job that pays you a lot of money uh, and you're unhappy throughout your life and you, you, that's not something I consider to be successful. If you're, if you're not happy, uh, that is no way to live. Uh, you're not here for very long and you might as well sit back, relax, be happy the best that you can, work on yourself, look inside, you know, Look inward, have some fun, enjoy life while you're here, uh, get great views, do whatever you can to, to make ends meet and, uh, and so on. So there's a lot of different ways that you can look at being successful and not successful. That's the first point. So you define success, no one else does. I don't define your success. If you're watching this, I do not define if you are successful or not. No one does, okay? So that's kind of the first barrier mentally that you got to get past and the best way that I look at this is that lay out everything that you have in your life like lay out the things that you value the most right in front of you on a piece of paper and say okay I value my my parents or my my significant other and I value uh, what my my children I value my work I value all of these things, lay it all out, and then figure out what, what success looks like to you with those things out in front of you. And in my experience and the mentors that have advised me and told me things in the past, usually uh, for the average person that is out there, they wanna spend time with their loved ones. They wanna uh, enjoy time with, um, with people. That they, that they enjoy and they love. And that is a very common thing that is very, uh, very uh, good. <laughs> it's good, it's healthy to wanna spend time with other people. That is just a basic human uh, want. And I think that that is something to strive for. Time is a resource that you cannot get more of. If you have a billion dollars, if you're Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, you cannot buy more time. No matter how much money you make, no matter how many successful businesses you have, you cannot buy more time. Everyone, uh, all across the board, cannot buy more time. So that, on its own, is the most valuable resource in your life. By definition, time here, time with others, time is the first and foremost 
biggest uh, resource that you can. It's finite. So laying that out on the table, definitely thinking about time in terms of what you value, where your time moves around on the things on the table are very important. So if you spend more time with your kids, spend more time with your with your spouse, with your, uh, you know, your parents, on your work, it really just moves around on the table there. So that's the first piece, defining your success, laying the things out that you value, and then determining where to input your time is the second piece. So the final bit is that now that you, you've gone through, you've really kind of bashed through that barrier of figuring out, all right, what does success mean for me? And, um, you know, how can I, how can I actually define what success is? How can I allocate time towards reaching that goal? And ultimately, the way that I look at it is I, I put out a poll recently on Twitter and I, I said, would you rather have a million dollars in a high interest savings account or would you rather have $10,000 a month in cash flow? And 76% of people, I think 150 people responded to the poll, 76% said <coughs> 10,000 a month in cash flow. Hands down, uh, that was a far a far winner in the in the two options there. So that's not taught anywhere, you know. I mean, other than the course link in description that I teach and many other people teach cash flow courses for sure, but it, it's 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 apparent that people now realize if you just have a large lump of cash that doesn't last forever that goes away and if you do have cash flow that frees up your time and that frees up the stress of needing to go out and and put your time into an earned income where you know you only have let's say 10 hours 12 hours a day to allocate to an employer or something like that they pay you and that is trading time for money and this is when we go back to what you laid out with which was valuable on your desk in front of you and what you see as successful. And what is, uh, I also mentioned what was not successful, which is working in something that you dislike and that you're trading your time for money. If you're trading your time for money, you will work until you, you die, basically. You have to put that money to work in some way for you. So you're making money while you sleep. There's some money coming in through the door 24 seven, whether it's one cent or $100,000, you're, you're making money uh, every day, regardless, passive, through all different, you know, dividend stocks, whatever it is. That is a significant boot off of your throat in terms of your ability to spend time, your most valuable resource with other ones, other people that you love and these things in front of you that you value. So that's kind of the the final component to this this video and the advice that i've received is lay out the things that you value the most define your own success you don't want to be somebody else don't copy somebody else's success compare comparing your first first chapter to somebody's chapter 20 don't do all that cliche stuff it doesn't work you don't want to be somebody else you want to be you you want to define your own success and odds are you're probably going to want to spend more time with the people that you care about as a human being. And to do so, you need to start developing cash flow. You need to start building up that base. And that was advice from, from other individuals, other mentors that I respect gave me. And that is what I'm just sharing on uh, the channel here because I've had a lot of questions about you know, what success is what I do, what other people do, and, and just don't worry about what other people are doing. Just figure out what works for you. That is, the, that is the whole key to all of this. Figure out what works for you and put your resources to work to reach a goal that works for you and your family. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's, it's very simple to say, but it's very hard to do. And it's very hard to put into motion and I know that if you're probably watching this all the way to the end, uh, thanks for watching all the way through. Respect to you guys. Everything's going to be perfectly all right. You need to ma maintain your, your time. You need to keep track of your time. Make sure that you're allocating it to people that you care about. As you get older, you're going to notice your friends list goes down. You're going for quality over quantity in relationships. 
and you need to really, really emphasize that, that cash flow. You need to emphasize that consistency coming in through your investments every month. If you're making, let's say $100, you're investing $10, $20 of that back into an asset or a different, a different type of investment vehicle that produces um, income with high yielding assets or performing assets like rental properties, like uh, online businesses and mobile applications and things like that that I'm experimenting with just find some, some, some stable income that can really alleviate a lot of your stress on that earned income. And as a bonus for anybody that's watching all the way until now, uh, there is one quick tip that is something that only the people that have been watching all the way to the end here, you can see the beautiful sunset. And if you've been watching all the way to the end, congratulations. The biggest tip for this entire video is developing 10 streams of income and distributing your income 10% of each of those income streams evenly. So out of 100% of the income, split it by 10 evenly. That makes you virtually unstoppable to uh, market adjustments and things like that. That was the biggest tip that I've ever received from any mentor. And that to me <clears throat> is the ultimate power when you have 10 sources of income distributed evenly, 10% across each. And that to me is, is, is an immense amount of stress relief uh, when you can reach that. I've been striving for that for many years and I've been working towards that because you'll see that, you know, if 30% of your income is coming from one stream and 20% from another stream, then you have all of these smaller streams that are comprising of you know, half of your income. And you'll notice that if you keep reinvesting those, uh, you know, the chunk that's making up of half of your income, if you're investing that into the seven or eight other streams that are smaller, it'll eventually start to ratchet up. It'll eventually start to equal out. And that's just something that I think is worth Everyone watching this should strive for something like that. That's not financial advice, but that is something that I received that I thought blew my, my mind. I was so happy to hear something like that, that people are out there doing that. The ultra wealthy people out there are, are hustling to, to diversify out into these seven to 10 streams, evenly distributed across to the point where they are not affected by uh, virtually any type of economic shift that happens. Of course, there's going to be, you know, multiple streams that would fall in scenarios like a, a real estate crisis of 2008 and things like that, but that's a whole different topic. And I just wanted to share that with everybody that's watched to the end. You guys deserve a big tip like that. And shout out to you guys for watching. If you guys like videos like this with, you know, scenery like this, definitely slap a like on this video. It helps the channel helps the algorithm pick it up. And uh, I'm gonna be doing more videos on the mobile game portfolio because a lot has unfolded in that over the last couple of days and I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm also gonna be sharing some um, little, bit of, little bit of analytics there as to what's going on on that front. And I'm excited to be sharing that journey with you guys. And that is it for this episode. If you guys like it, definitely stick around and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next episode.